Getting off to a flying start as the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And today it's the opening game in this particular group at the Euros. It's Croatia and they take on Albania. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. Can he convert? Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. And the starting 11 for Croatia. Luka Modric plays alongside Marcelo Brozovic in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Andrej Kramaric. Moving the ball really well here. Oh, great block. And the starting 11 for Albania. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3, but they've got... Oh, goodness, not the best of challenges. Now then, what's the referee going to do here? And the referee has decided to expel him. And he can only have himself to blame. It's going to be interesting to see how they adjust now. And time for the change now. Nedim Bayrami and showing fine vision and he's gone into an illegal position unfortunately oh nice ball over the top Yasir Asani. Berat Jim Sisi now. Nedim Bayrami. Well, nothing to split the two sides, but this move looks promising. Really incisive defending. Mario Pasalic. Now Brozovic. And losing possession. Now let's see what they can do here. Prevented the damage. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the ball goes out of play for what will be a goal kick. Mario Pasalic. The ball with Luka Modric. And it's a quality pass. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. And behind it's gone for a corner. And in by Luka Modric. Well, in fairness, it wasn't the best of headers. Well, there we have it. 
This has been a really poor game so far. The players need to pick up the tempo and be a lot braver with their passing and their movement. This can only get better. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, the service to him hasn't been good, but he hasn't exactly been busting a gut to find space, has he? He needs to work much harder to affect the game and start testing this goalkeeper. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. They couldn't keep it. Bonna Sosa. The ball with Luka Modric. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Liber Ramadani. Yassi Rasani. Ramadani. Couldn't keep the ball. Cuts in from the flank. That is how to keep it out of the net. Stanisic. The ball with Luka Modric. This is looking threatening. Not the best clearance. Well, they can keep possession now. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Yassir Asani. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. The ball with Luka Modric. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Josip Shutalo. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Mario Pasalic. How can they nudge in front late on here? And playing it through. Oh, what late drama! They're in the lead. The opening goal near the end of this one. And will that be good enough, despite the fact that they're down to 10? Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. A dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Yassir Asani. But it comes down to the final five minutes. A very effective challenge put in. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. the game and a lot of happy faces wherever you look in the Croatia camp it couldn't have gone much better from a results point of view yes Derek sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition and that was the case here they kept going and they eventually got their reward well we're picking him out for a reason he's had a tremendous game and attack Stuart yeah good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead
they just couldn't cope with his movement today. 